Stop using reverse psychology. That's the subject of our lesson today. I'm Dr. Shivago. Today we're going to talk about reverse psychology, what it isn't, and what it is. Do not allow reverse psychology to influence you in any way. Beware of all propaganda. They teach you what to reject, so they can hide it right in front of you. Hmm? Right out in the open, after they've taught you to reject it, that it shouldn't be like that. They teach you what to complain about, so they can identify you and marginalize you. They teach you what to oppose. Ah. So then they can plant an idea firmly in your attention where you will pretend not to be worshipping it, not to be giving it enormous amounts of your attention. Not to be confused with a fixation or preoccupation. <clears throat> they teach you what to struggle against and what to hate. Is that the face for hate? I believe it is. And what to interpret as a threat or as an insult. They teach us these things. It's horrible. We need to be we need to be alert to this dreadful, dreadful danger. Danger! Alright. So this method of reverse psychology must be eradicated. Do not ever use reverse psychology. Do not even think about reverse psychology. In fact, realize that there is no such thing as reverse psychology. There never has been, and there never even could be. Why? Because there's not even a label for reverse psychology. Because there are no such thing as labels. There are no such thing as language, either. I know this is self-evident, but I want to remind you, in case you have not forgotten yet. Now, this reminds me, by the way, that you should not be reading this or listening to this video or watching it. Please stop immediately. <clears throat> Are you still there? I, I warned you. I did warn you. Furthermore, you should pretend that there's no such thing as pretending. Hmm. Pretending is only imaginary. It's all in your head. It's not real. Pretending is fraud. It's wrong. And furthermore, pretending is evil. Therefore, parody may be the highest form of flattery. But all flattery is disgusting and unacceptable. And therefore should be censored in advance or sooner. Whichever comes first. Shaming is shameful. Don't ever shame. Blaming is the source of all of our problems. If it just weren't for blaming, then we wouldn't have any problems. <sighs> Irony is paradoxical in some ways, but yet is not paradoxical in other ways. Which may be, in fact, the same ways. All right, so we must rid the world of negativity. We must save the world from salvation. Unfortunately, we cannot do what we must do. We must do what we should not. And we should do what we simply can't. We are not doing enough. And on the other hand, we're doing way too much. By the way, I'm sorry about not apologizing so much. Uh, But I just feel so guilty about whether or not I have been worrying the right amount about the right things in the right ways. I was just, uh, was just about to give up all hope when suddenly I realized it wouldn't really do me any good anyway. I'm Dr. Zhivago, and you're not. Stop using reverse psychology immediately or sooner, whichever comes first. This offer is not valid in every state. 